Hello everyone, I'm a Scorpio. I hope you're all doing well. Right. Whoa. Okay. Okay. The bottom card, we've got the Ten of Swords, so Ten of Wands. Right, you're working too hard. Working too hard, you need to stop and rest. Also, I feel Scorpio's not feeling too good this week, some of you. Right. We've got the sun. Which is lovely. Got the two of cups. Yay! Got the nine of wands. Which is... Protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. So you've got to be prepared for something. And then you've got the Ten of Cups, a happy marriage, happy home, happy life. Okay. Right, then we've got balance. So, it is what it is, the power of diversity, self-control. I'm reading the wrong cards. Duh. Sorry. Ugh. Right, Scorpio, let's see what we've got for you this. What have we got for Scorpio, please? What have we got for Scorpio, please? Tell us what we've got for Scorpio, please. Thank you. <clears throat> right, at the bottom you've got the King of Swords. He's a very intelligent man, but not one to mess with. Four of Cups, oh my goodness. Bored, fed up. But someone's offering us something. You got the Star of Hope. Someone's offering us something. If you look at the Star of Hope, see? He's offering us a bottle there, right? A bottle of water, because all of ours is spilled over, or we've drunk it all. I, and here in the Star of Hope, that bottle's there again. And we've taken that bottle. Okay, so now we're, we're asking for the hope, you know? We're asking for, you know, the hope to make us feel better, to be more balanced. Then we've got the Five of Wands, which is silly arguments. Silly pathetic arguments, and you've got the three of wands, which is, you know, you're having to move forward and being told just to keep moving forward, doing what you're doing. You're doing good. You've got the hermit. It's time to reflect, time to think. But it's also your back. So be careful with your back. You've got the death card, so it's one door shutting, a new one opening. So new opportunities coming your way. You've got the Ten of Cups, which is, you know, almost like getting a new home. It's everything good in the home, whether you're redecorating or something, but there's something good in the home. Then you've got the Ace of Swords, you know, which is a new mental beginning so you're going to think of a new idea and think of something new then you've got the four of swords which is time to rest time to retreat if you don't retreat spirit will make you and you've got the queen of swords so we have the king at the bottom of the pack and we've got the queen of swords so you don't mess with her either, but she's a very intelligent woman. Then you've got the Page of Swords. And he's trying to get you to look at the bigger picture. He's trying to get you to look at something. You've got to analyze something. There's something you haven't seen. You've got to analyze something. You've got the Eight of Coins, which is... New job opportunities, working hard, an apprenticeship even. 
And you got the seven of coins. Which is you think you have the past. You're daydreaming. That's what you're doing. You're daydreaming. There's something you're daydreaming about. And you got the six of coins. You're daydreaming of having the money. Having the money. And sharing it out. And you got the strength card. Which, you know, you have got the strength inside yourself to sort things out. You're a very clever person yourself. And you've got the three of coins, which means you're working with someone. So there is going to be a job where you'll be working with someone and sorting things out. Right. We've got balance. Okay, so you need more balance in your life. You need to... Oh, am I looking for? What's the word, please? They're saying right from wrong. I'm sure you know right from wrong, but they're saying right from wrong, okay? Okay, even though you feel like you've lost everything and everything's gone, there's, someone's going to offer you an opportunity, okay? You need to be on your own for a while. You need time to think and sort your emotions out and rest. You do need to do that, but... There will be a time when you will be sitting there thinking and all of a sudden you will get the aha moment. You'll be like, either now I understand or oh my god, I never thought of that. There will be something there. You got the two of cups, which is coming together with someone, a partnership, a future boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay, and you've got the star of hope and you're hoping that everything's going to go well in the future and it will. It will, but you've got the death card there. So I feel that there's going to be a door shutting on either a job or a person. I don't know. I'm not picking that up. There's just going to be a, a one door shutting at the moment, but there will be a new door opening for you, okay? I have also feel if you've got any bad news coming from a doctor, you feel it's going to be bad news. You will be fine, okay? You will be fine. You're, telling, you're also being told by the Nine of Wands to guard yourself, okay? Really guard yourself. But I don't feel that you're feeling that well at the moment. I just feel there's something around you, Scorpios, that are not feeling well. And it's making you quite irritable, okay? There's something nice in the home for you, whether you're redecorating, like I said, I don't know. But someone is telling you there's something you have missed. You need to look at this, okay? And you've got the strength to sort it out and carry on, okay? And, you know, if you look at that card, okay, there's fire. There's fire around. So, you know, lots of people are irritable and everything around you. But you've got the strength and you've got your little companion there. And, you know, you're, you're fine. You will be fine, okay? Then we've got the Ten of Cups, which is lovely time in the home and everything. And you're being told to move forward. Okay, you've got the Ace of Swords, which is, you know, you're going to think of a new opportunity for a job. And I feel that this new opportunity you will be investing in. And I feel that there'll be someone there who will support you. You'll have some people there to support you. And it's going to be well. Okay, but you just need to, you know, get over this, whatever it is you're going through. It's a hard time for you at the moment. I feel that there's a loss for you of some sort, some sort of loss. Some sort of loss. you got the Nine of Cups. Okay, there's going to be an inheritance for some of you, they're saying. Okay, there will be inheritance, but it's going to have to go to court. This inheritance will have to go to court. Okay, but you're being told to take the bold step because there is a new beginning coming. Take a bold step. Yeah. Right. Let's see if we can't confirm some of these cards. Please go print some of these cards for us. Please go print 
That's one of these cards for scholarship fees, thank you. Or all of them. Okay, there's your King of Swords. Okay. King of Swords there at the bottom. At the bottom. You've got the Magician, which you had a minute ago somewhere. You've got the Magician, so, it's, you know, you've got... Oh, did you have a Magician? Oh, I don't know. You've got the Magician, so it tells me you've got everything, all the tools of the trade. You've got the Eight of Cups, which is you walking away. You've had enough, and you feel like walking away. Then you've got the King of Coins, which is, if you need financial advice, that's who you go to. You go to this man, whether it's a bank manager or a lawyer, but he'll give you some good advice. Then you've got the Page of Cups. Okay, I feel this this King of Coins, though, is in the future, not right now. Whereas the Page of Cups, I feel that, you know, you've got a surprise element there. And I do feel that you will be meeting a new person. And you've got the Ace of Swords. Yeah. You've got the Chariot, which you don't know which way to go. The Ace of Swords is a new beginning, but it's a mental beginning. And like I said, I feel some of you have lost someone that was dear to you. And I just feel that there will be money divided up but you're ha in a will and you'll have to go to court over it. And you've got the strength card, which means you, you can pull through this. Okay, and then you've got the empress, which is the mother figure, you know, the mother figure. So I feel that it will be fine. You're just going to have to go through a bit of a rough time at the moment, okay? Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, don't take it on board. Don't try and make it fit. Because if it doesn't resonate with you, it's not meant for you. Okay. Some of it might be. Like, for instance, you know, the new job opportunities. That, that could be for you. But it doesn't mean necessarily that someone who's going to pass away is for you. Do you know what I mean? So please don't take it on board. Right. Let's see if we can't answer your question for you. Meditation brings answers. A year from now. There we go. A year from now. Right, let's do the manifestation cards. If we shall. Please tell me what we need to say for the week ahead. What does Scorpio need to say for the week ahead, please? Thank you. Right. Happiness attracts happiness. It's a simple formula. You must be happy now to bring everything that makes you happy into your life through the law of attraction. So be happy now. I don't know if any of you want to screenshot that. Okay. There we go, guys. Hope that was okay for you. As always, stay truthful, be happy, and love and sparkles. Scooby-Doo.